Today we're talking about how to solve stoichiometry problems so we could determine the amount of chemicals involved in a reaction. And that objective is going to be the objective for all of this week's classes. The success criteria for this specific video is being able to calculate the mass of one chemical in a reaction based off of the mass of a different chemical in a reaction. And that specifically refers to a type of stoichiometry we call gravimetric stoichiometry. So stoichiometry is always about describing the relative quantity of reactants and products in terms of ratios of moles. Any prediction or calculation we do during the chemical reaction has to be based off of that mole ratio. But often, we don't actually measure moles. Trying to measure moles directly is really quite difficult. Instead, we have to measure them indirectly most of the time using molar mass and mass. So when we do calculations that involve stoichiometry and chemical reactions, we always are having to convert back and forth between grams and moles. And that is the most common thing that you will end up doing. You will have a mass of a chemical involved in a chemical reaction. You need to figure out how many moles of that chemical are present. Use the ratio to figure out how many moles of the other chemical are going to be present as a result, and then convert it back to mass. So gravimetric stoichiometry specifically refers to stoichiometry that involves mass. First step in any gravimetric stoichiometry is we have to write a balanced chemical reaction and list our knowns and unknown quantities. In this case, it's going to be masses and molar masses. We are then going to convert the known mass into a chemical amount. So we're going to go from grams to moles. Then we can use the mole ratio to go from one chemical that we know stuff about to another chemical that we need to know about. And then our last step will be to use molar mass one more time to convert back to a mass. Because oftentimes we don't care about how many moles there are, we care about the mass, which is a much easier to measure and relate to quantity.